Hello everyone, this is Nitij and today we are going to focus on a topic which is creating a custom React hook for API calls using Axios along with its interceptors. So before we start, let's first talk about why would we even need a custom hook for API calls. Well, in web applications, efficient and effective data fetching is crucial. So many times the developers face the challenge of managing state and handling data from external sources in a way which is both scalable and easy to maintain. That is exactly where React hooks and Axios come into play. We are going to tackle this by creating a custom hook which not only simplifies the process but also enhances the performance of our applications. So without wasting any more time, let's get started with our code walkthrough. So this is Visual Studio Code and this is a React application which I have already created. Now this is all boilerplate right now. So we will have to add all the items that we will need to set up our custom hook for API calls. The first thing that I will do is I will create a new API service. For that I will create a new folder with the name services and in that folder I will create another folder with the name API service and I will create a new file with the name index.js okay now over here the first thing that we will need is to import Axios I guess I still need to install it but let's just add the import statement first so we will have to create an Axios instance with a base URL. So let's do that. So Axios instance equals to Axios.create and we will have to provide an object as an argument. So in this options object, we have to provide the base URL that we will be using for all of the API calls. The base URL that I will use is going to be of this json placeholder fake rest api so the url the base url is going to be this one let me just zoom in it is going to be this one um, up to typeycode.com and let's just paste it over here now our axios instance is created but to make it more helpful or to make it more functional we can add interceptors before a request is sent and after a response is received when we use this Axios instance to make API calls. So first add the interceptor for the request. So Axios.interceptors.request.use. So these are like middlewares and we will have to provide a function as an argument which is going to accept a config object. Now, right now I'm just going to return the config directly but you can do a bunch of different things over here like for example if the user is not authenticated then you can provide the guest token in the payload or if the user has authenticated then you can provide the auth bearer token along with the request there are so many possibilities over here but if there is any error then we have to provide another function as an argument so that function is going to accept error and then from over here okay hold on yep from over here we can simply return promise dot reject and let's wrap the error with the promise dot reject let's format this um, okay let's also add the interceptor for the response so axios instance dot interceptors interceptors dot response.use and for this interceptor i am just going to again provide a function as an argument which is going to have response as its own argument so over here we can handle the response or we can return it directly i mean if you are not going to handle it then it will not make any sense to have the response interceptor but if you want to do something with the response like you know data validation or any kind of custom error handling based on the message which has been received from the server then you can do that here 
now for the error handling function i am just going to provide this one which is going to return again um, promise dot reject i will just copy promise dot reject and this is how our api service is going to look like next we are going to create our use api hook to consume this api service so let's do that in the src folder i will create a new folder with the name hooks and then inside it i am going to create a new folder with the name use api which is going to be the name of our hook so let's create a new file with the name index.js now over here i'm just going to create a new function with the name use api so use api this is going to accept the uh, endpoint url as an argument so and then finally we have to export this function as well so export default and then use api okay now inside this hook we are going to need some state variables the first one is going to be for the data which we will receive the second one is going to be for the loading state and the third one is going to be for any error if there is any so let's do that first for data const data and then set data uh, hold on set data equals to use state initially we will set it to null and let's just copy and paste so loading and then set loading will be initially set to false it's just a simple loading indicator when the api will be um, called then it will be set to true when we will either receive a response or an error then it will be set to false again so and then error and then set error again this is going to be null now we are going to use the use effect hook so use effect and i am going to provide the callback function over here first we will set set loading to true and then we are going to use our api service so let's do that actually i think i have missed something in this api service and that is to um, export the axios instance so let's do that export default axios instance save it and now import it in our hook so import axios instance now in our effect hook we will simply use the axios instance so axios instance dot get for a get request the url which is provided as an argument for the hook now we can change the uh, dot then function so dot then and then response that we will receive so we are just going to set data with the response dot data and we can also provide the um, the catch callback function so catch and then if there is any error then we can simply set set error to error and then we have to set loading to false and the best place to do it is in a finally callback so finally dot finally and then um, it can be an arrow function which is not going to accept any argument so we can just set set loading to false right and this effect function is only going to be kicked in when our url is changed so um, if suppose in any component we are going to use this use api hook and the url is a state variable and whenever it is going to change then the hook is again going to uh, execute this entire code for the updated url so that is why we have to use the url dependency over here and then finally we are just going to uh, hold on return the data the loading and the error state variables and that is pretty much everything we need to do for our use api hook now it's time to test this hook and for that we will create a new component i am going to create a new components folder 
in this folder i will create another folder with the name my component and let's create a new file with the name index.jsx and rfce shortcut for react arrow function component and this is going to be called my component so my component is going to be exported as well and over here what i'm going to do first is to import our use api hook and then we have to call it so for that i'm just going to destructure the values the state variables which it is going to return so data and then loading and then error equals to use api now what will be our endpoint so the endpoint that we are going to use is the to do's endpoint so i'm just going to copy it from over here and then paste it so this is the way in which we can test our um, use api custom hook and also make sure to only provide the path of the endpoint and not the complete url because the base url has already been provided as the uh, as the argument for our axios instance so yep now we need to handle the loading and error states so let's listen to these changes by simply adding conditions so if loading is true then we will return a div indicating that it's loading and if error is initialized then we will return another div so error which is the error dot message and then if it's not loading and if there is no error then we will simply uh, show the data so if data is available if data is available hold on i will need to write it as an expression so if data is available then we can simply um, you know what let's stringify the data so um, yeah let's do that so inside another div we can call json.stringify and then data i think that is pretty much everything we need to do but there is one more thing which is left and that is to npm install axios so after the axios package has been installed there is still one more thing that we need to do is to import this my component into app.js and then render it so for that i am just going to first import it so import um uh, sorry my component and then i am going to remove this header from over here and then simply render my component and now let's run npm start to see if our project is working as expected so the stringified json is printed over here and it seems to be the to do's data with a title and completed property values now let me refresh it again to see if the loading state is working or not yep i think it's loading because for a brief moment i am able to see loading so this is how we can create a custom hook to handle the api calls and then manage the loading state as well as gracefully handle the errors if there are any now to wrap up i hope this tutorial adds value to your react development skills if you have enjoyed this video and found it helpful please consider subscribing to the channel your support encourages me to keep sharing more content like this also feel free to drop any questions or feedback in the comments section below thanks for watching and i will see you in the next tutorial happy coding